Hello and welcome to today's video. So this time we're going to be having a look at PlayStation 1 performance using the Duck Station emulator running through Emu Deck on your Steam Deck. And uh, I'm using Emulation Station here as my front end to go through my collection of PlayStation 1 ROMs. I've got about 100 on there and I've chosen just a touch under 20 to have a look at today. Now, I'm a big fan of pinball games. Unfortunately, this is not a very good one. So not the greatest one to start, but um, I'll only be showing sort of 45 seconds to a minute's footage for each game. But yeah, Austin Powers Pinball. Um, I mean, I suppose it's okay as a pinball game goes, but um, unless you're a massive fan of the Austin Power films, you're probably going to find this a bit cheesy and and rubbish to be honest so uh it is what it is i suppose you know as i said i, I just love pinball games i even used to own a pinball back in the 90s an actual full-size one and i am a big fan of of playing them to this day next one we've got to look at is bloody roar and uh, this played fantastic. I was really, really pleased with this one. Um, to be honest, nowadays, most, you know, even mid-range smartphones can emulate the PlayStation 1 absolutely perfectly. But this was always one for some reason that struggled a bit on various devices. But as you can see here, it plays absolutely fine. And it's a lot of fun as well. Now, as you might expect, um, these games were, because of their age, uh, all in 4x3 format, and uh, the, uh, there is a widescreen hack in place here to stretch out to 16x9. Um, I didn't have any issues at all with stretching the screen at all, and as you can see, I think it looks fantastic. Really, really sharp. One thing that you don't get on this video um but you know i didn't want to bore you is the loading time so with duck station it would seem that every time you fire up a brand new game you get the playstation bios the little playstation logo to start with and then of course you've got the loading times the same as if it was from an original cd this is a real classic castlevania symphony of the night one of the best Castlevania games out there, I believe. I've certainly not played them all, but this one plays really great. Fantastic soundtrack as well. In fact, I believe you could actually get a version of this back in the day that came with the CD soundtrack. we got Crash Bandicoot 3 which is warped. This is quite a fun way where you get to sort of choose which zone or play area you want to have a go at first. Um, I was never a massive fan of the Crash Bandicoot games but this one plays all right. I don't really I remember playing them back in the day but I don't think I actually owned them. Not that I can remember. I think I may have borrowed them off someone. Thankfully, it's quite forgiving with the amount of lives that you get, and you don't have to keep restarting the level. Always a bonus. But for a game that's underwater and you're, you know, swimming around, it controlled really, really well. So this is the original Dead or Alive. Now. I've played, the first one I really got into was Dead or Alive 3, um, but I only had the first one on my uh, Steam Deck, so this is the one I gave a try to, and it wasn't bad, 
but it just didn't feel quite as refined as say bloody raw or even the tekken games but you know it is what it is i was glad to give it a try but it's not one i'm going to think i'm going to spend loads of time working my way through This one I do remember playing at the time and it's still just as enjoyable today as it was all those years ago. Die Hard Trilogy. See all there playing John McClane in his vest, no shoes. Um, you start off in the uh, the car park level and to be honest um, I was basically just killing everything I saw. Um, <laughs> you're supposed to try and avoid the hostages if you can. So, so playable. And you're just straight into it. It's just brilliant. I could have played this one for hours, to be honest. <laughs> it's great. It's a really, really good game. I recommend it. This was on medium difficulty. Now this one is the first entry in the Driver series and perhaps not the best one to demonstrate because in this initial level when you first get put behind the wheel uh, basically you have to perform a load of different tasks as the driver before you get sort of given your first proper mission. Um, and um, this first level here is just set in a in a basement of a car park, so not exactly great. I mean, we do need to remember that this is the days of the PlayStation One, so it was limited in what it could actually show. Um, but it it drove very well. It's just um, it perhaps wasn't the best one to uh, to demo on this particular video. And here we've got uh, Duke Nukem. So uh, Duke Nukem and Doom. Uh, couple of great great games similar to this um i know the, the graphics on it look a little bit blocky blockier than i remember and i'm not sure if if the memory is is cheating or something but um i just remember it looking a little bit better than than it actually does here um also the controls are a little bit fiddly they took me a little bit of time to get uh, to grips you know it was okay shooting stuff but um sort of strafing left and right and uh, just aiming your gun up at um, up and down was a bit fiddly but you know what you're getting with it with a Duke Nukem similar to a Doom and uh, basically just kill anything that moves now this was the very first entry Hot Shots Golf in the UK released as Everybody's Golf now I'm a massive massive fan of this series um, I believe the last games that ever came out for it were on the PlayStation 3 I firmly believe the series should be revived. This is obviously the PlayStation 1 version. It's a little bit clunky compared to what you might see nowadays. Um, I, the game I've been playing the most, I've got the most playtime on my entire Steam Deck ridiculously, is still the PlayStation Portable Everybody's Golf 2 or Hot Shots Golf 2, which I am working my way through and I try and play one round of golf a day. <laughs> <laughs> on it because I absolutely love it I'm slowly working my way and uh, improving my character but this was uh, this was nice to see the very first version of it and it's got you know the usual tournaments match plays uh, mini games that sort of thing um, but the basic uh, the basic game is here and you can see uh, you know just how good a game it really is recommended This is one of my all-time favourite shooters for the PlayStation. Had this one when I had my PlayStation. It's G Darius. Absolutely fantastic sideways schmuck. One of my favourites. Does take a little bit of practice, but once you get through the basic level, you then have a massive boss at the end. And although the bosses are massive, as long as you're you sort of stay out of its way, you can get them down. And then you can decide 
the route that you take through the galaxy a bit like outrun where you've got you know five different finishes g darius is the same and you can sort of plan your route that way i love it fantastic uh, audio visuals on it it's a great great game probably my favorite uh, shooter for the playstation one And this is an unusual one, which I hadn't, don't really remember playing ever. Um, Galaga, and it's Galaga Destination Era. So I don't know if you remember the old Galaxian arcade game from back in the day. This is a variation on that. So the first level is pretty much what you see here. You you know a bit like the the, the traditional uh, Galaxian Galaga game. And then the next level, um, you're going through like a, um, a debris, like an asteroid field. Um, it's pretty good. It's just a, a decent uh, face-up shooter, and uh, I had a lot of fun with this one. Just showing the the first you know, few bits of it now, but um, yeah, worth a try. This one. Do you love a good shooter? Now this is very polished. Um, once again, I had this from back in the day, and um, I remember being a little annoyed because I was so used to the arcade style of something like Outrun. But this actually is really good, and this is just the basic have a quick arcade style race. And in actual fact, it was really good. It was really the controls, which do take a tiny bit of getting used to on um, the Gran Turismo, were actually really good. And this is uh, this is actually really something, and I recommend this one. It was good. It was really good. And this is Hydro Thunder. <laughs> now I'm a real sucker for these sort of games, and uh, right up to even today when I play them on my uh, on my phone, like App Store versions. Um, but this was perhaps the first one I ever played on the PS1. And uh, once again, I think I may have had this one and bought it secondhand, possibly. Good sense of speed. Like the jumps on it. Time extended. Time so far. Yeah, good stuff that one. This was a real favourite of mine. So you're probably familiar with the Metal Slug games. Well, this is the game they made before Metal Slug, before the Metal Slug series, called In the Hunt, and it's sort of a submarine underwater. And you'll recognise the uh, the style of graphics, the cartoony style of graphics, being able to shoot uh, vertically as well as uh, horizontally. It's quite tough. It takes a bit of getting used to. You need to sort of get used to the enemies and where they're coming from and what they can do but it comes recommended even though it's a difficult game to master i love it in the hunt very very difficult to find as an original um it, it took me a while to find even the, the game wrong when i did uh, add this one to my library a year or two ago so uh yeah give this one a try i think you'll enjoy it This is Marvel v Capcom. Once again, this was fantastic, and I know there's a few sequels 
um, but this was the original one and uh, it's really cool actually I sort of regret playing a Spider-Man this time around because he's not got that many abilities but it was still pretty cool to play and uh, yeah I spent a bit of time on this one it just looks amazing absolutely amazing But I'm a real fan of all the Marvel v Capcom and Marvel v SNK series. They're, they're really, really good. If you're a fan of the characters. This is Metal Slug. This is Metal Slug 10 or X, and uh, it's classic Metal Slug action, which you cannot beat. I just really, really love these and play them a long, long time. Thankfully, you can get so far and you get continues, so don't worry if you get killed. You got. I think the, the continues are unlimited, so you can work your way through, and uh, they're just epic fun. They really, really are. I love them. Really, really love these play so well on the deck you just can't believe I mean, you can see how good they look but just feeling the game when you're playing it, it's just brilliant fun This is also a really good and underrated game, uh, one which I only discovered about five or six years ago and I've played it quite a way through um, on my mobile actually. Um, so it's the video game adaption to the first Italian job movie, the 1960s one rather than the, uh, the, the 90s or late 90s one. And um, it's brilliant. So you're, you're Charlie Coker and uh, he's just come out of prison, just like the film, and he's in... Um, the ambassador's car, the Pakistani ambassador's car, which has been pinched because his girlfriend wanted him to come out in style. And uh, you've got to uh, make your way to uh, to your lockup. I believe, um, and you might recognise this, um, the way that the cars drive and, and stuff is very similar to the Rockstar uh, Grand Theft Auto portable system. Um, and I believe they did have a hand in, in lending at least the the car controls to the this particular game so yeah italian job pretty good fun then the last one looking at today is vigilante 8 second offense this is sort of like a mad max destruction derby style game where you just have to sort of kill kill your opponents and um, pretty good um frantic fun and um, we are getting a bit of screen tearing on this one but um, i'm not it may be the widescreen hack rather than um, anything to do with the uh, with the ROM. But it's a good game, it's fast and it's furious and uh, it, it's one to check out. So anyway, there we are. Thank you very much for watching today. I hope you like that little glimpse of uh, these PlayStation 1 games running on the Steam Deck. Next week I intend to do uh, 20 or so Game Boy Advance games, which uh, I'm very much looking forward to and pulling my list together now. Thank you very much for subscribing. If you've not already, do please hit that subscribe button. And I shall look forward to seeing you again in a week's time with another video. Bye.